How's it going everybody and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn, the series where we take Robot Wars bots, past and present, and recreate them on Robot Arena 2. What, were you expecting a funny intro or something? God. From, from Dolkin, Dublin, dear Joy. They always win the best sports award on Robot Wars, they never get very far. Petrol on board, fur lined, flame jets all over the arena. Get the picture? So first up is Diatar, and I knew there was going to be a couple issues running into the design, but I think I tackled them all pretty well. First off, you can see I kind of represented the fur using some of the decals on Stock Robot Battle Arena 2. And then I have the snowplow in the front, because this best resembles the shape of what Diatar's lifter was. It's just a little too thick, about half the thickness is what we really need. And you can see there are two flipping motors, because doing anything else would have meant his weapon would not have worked. Got two batteries in there fairly easily. Had to readjust everything just a little bit to make sure the wheels fit in the body and that everything lined up well. And then of course, I had to give it eyes. I went with mini wheels because they were the smallest. Where we gonna go from here? Oh come on, tip 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 tip! Yes! We got him! Permission to adjust the range of the flipper please? Come on please, please, please! Yes! You know how long I've been waiting for this? Whoa, for the longest time. <laughs> what an idiot. I can't believe he got stuck up there. Alright, I guess I gotta go up there and, you know, kick his ass. Oh, shit. No, what have I done? You're a fuck and I hate you. I'm gonna fuck you. Fuck you, man! That's disgusting! Alright, I might be missing an eye, but I can still win this! Let's go, Diatar! Um... Oh... Okay, then. The match is Bye, have a great time! I always feel like somebody's watching me! Expect me to do that joke with every bot that has eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Jump around! Jump around! Oh jeez, he's had too many, alright. No, no more to boxer. We gotta get you home. You had too many. You, no, no more jumping, Jump boxer. Get stop. So how good was the Diator recreation? It was average. The appearance lacked a little bit, partially because of the flipper being way too wide and the body structure didn't seem perfect. Weapon damage accuracy, well, I think I did set it a little too high, the range for the flipper, because Diator seemed to only lift bots just a little bit up, it didn't really have a lot of power in it. Record accuracy, terrible, 13 and 11 in real life, was not at all represented. Fighting style, the recreate of Diator was a lot faster than the real life bot, and whether or not he's fun to fight with on this game, yeah, it's alright, it's a decent little lifter. Oh yeah, and back to the record accuracy. DSR went 15-0 in recording, so now we have a third Robot Wars robot that can join an elite group, unbeaten in recording. Congratulations, Diatar. His final grade is a C. It's your turn on fire! What, do you think we'd get through his whole segment without having him on fire once? Come on. From Derby, Carbide. Rover David designs robots for a well-known chocolate company. Not new robots even like chocolate. David and Sam used to fight on opposite teams, but they combined to create the monster that is Carbide. The Carbide was a bot heavily suggested, but I didn't get to him right away just because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to actually do him. With a bot that had a blade in the middle of its body, it's kind of hard to do with this fat Z-Tech motor. But with the new glitch that you may have seen in BattleBots Reborn before this, it's as simple as put in a flipping motor, put on an extender, and then attach the Z-Tech motor to that. And then you can adjust the start motion of that flipper motor so that the weapon is positioned however you want. The Z-Tech motor can partially go into the body and be outside of the body, which otherwise it has to be either all the way inside or all the way outside. So this has been very helpful, and it makes carbide invertible. Everything else was pretty easy. I had to add some kind of green into his decals. So I went in, took a little look, and found this, this spike, this green spike that I've used for Chomp, I also did for Carbide to get a little bit of green in him and make it look a little bit more realistic. It was a pain in the ass, so I hope you appreciate it. Ah, what the fuck? You can't touch me there! You love Willy! Oh! 
Now you fucked up! Iceberg's so weak, just imagine if this was the one that the Titanic hit. Just let that sink in. Wasn't clever, it was just mean. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Oh, really? I thought I won. Hail Satan! <laughs> oh, shit! The power of Christ compels you, bitch. I wanna love you. Bullshit you do, Sabretooth. I know your type. All you want is to hit it and quit it, you jerk. Why would you try and do that to me? You you don't know what I've been through and how that's going You piece of shit! What? You better watch out before I fuck you up your fat fucking ass. Oh, it's on, bitch! Knock, knock, you about to get shell shot! You're my bitch, you fucking bitch. Apparently now I'm Dementia's bitch. Funny how that turned around. Yay for wheels! Baby, that's what happens when a tornado meets a- Carbide, it's what happens when a tornado meets a carbide. He gets shoved off the fucking claw top arena because I'm sick of your shit, man! How about new? No, go! Stop hanging around! Fuck this shit, I'm out. So how good was the carbide recreation? Pretty decent, actually. I thought the appearance was very good, except maybe it could have been a little more green, and then, you know, his name in green somewhere on the body. Weapon damage. The Lawnmower Blade actually sucks on this game. You guys have told me to use it in the past, and this might be the only time I ever use it, because terrible. Record accuracy, not bad as well, but could have been a little bit better. And fighting style accuracy, he kind of charged Bot's head on, whereas I had to go to the side for obvious reasons. Gameplay grade, although the Lawnmower Blade sucks, yeah, it, I mean, it still took off parts, didn't it? And also, he went unbeaten in recording, so would you believe it? We have yet another robot in that Elite Hall of Fame. Just kidding, you gullible bastards. You saw him get knocked out by a tornado. I really hope none of you believed me for a second. Do you have a favorite Robot Wars robot that you want to be part of the series? Leave a comment of the robot's name below. It with the axe and I don't think Blood nut. Has the maneuverability to get away and Terra Hutch is causing damage straight away. Look at this, it's systematic. Oh, they are battering Blood nut. into submission. One blow after another raining down and Blood nut. cannot do anything about this whatsoever.